uh, a very warm welcome to everybody. We've got um, 30 to 45 minutes uh, together now talking to each other, which is great, um, on the topic of our flagship program for customer success managers, the CCSMP or Certified CSM Professional Program. Uh, the training, the certification, and the CPD within it. I'm going to go through the whole thing from beginning to end. Uh, there is a poll. Uh, so if you click on polls, you can see a simple question that we'd be interested to understand where you heard about this workshop from so that we can uh, helps us with our marketing to know, you know where, where you learned about it. If you can complete that, I'd be very grateful. Thank you very much. Also, um, uh, in the chat window, you are very welcome to uh, submit any questions that you might have. We do have a Q&A section at the end, so it may well be that I don't necessarily answer your questions straight away, but we'll answer them at the end. And I'm, I'm joined by my colleague, uh, Marek, Marek Malinowski, and he also is in the chat room, uh, so he also can answer any questions. And we do have a very special offer for you at the end of this program so if you continue to watch to the end uh, we've got a special offer on the ccsmp program just for people who are attending today only so please do uh, um, wait for that and um, in the meantime let's get going so uh, yes the ccsmp program let's let's have a little talk about it so um why let me ask you this question why do you think it is that certification is so important in fact, let me let me give you a couple of options here. Let's say you're going uh, on holiday or you're traveling for business. It doesn't matter. But the next time you travel in an aeroplane, which one of these two people would you prefer to be flying your aircraft? Would you prefer person A or would you prefer person B to be flying your aircraft? <laughs> okay. So why am I asking this ridiculously stupid question? Well, because you know what? Looks can be deceiving, right? Just because you're dressed for the role doesn't necessarily mean you are professionally qualified for that role. So, for example, person A almost certainly is a male model, right? It's just a photograph of somebody dressed up as a pilot. Maybe person B is a pilot who is on holiday at the moment, but when they're not on holiday, they're qualified and trained and certified to fly airplanes, which I think I would probably prefer, however good looking the male model might be, <laughs> to a male model when it comes to flying the aircraft. And of course, it's the same thing in every profession. If I was going to employ somebody uh, to service my car, I want a certified service engineer for the type of car I've got. If I was going to employ somebody to do my end of year accounts, I want a certified accountant. So as a customer of your company, I would quite like a certified customer success manager to help me attain success from the products that I've purchased. Doesn't seem unreasonable. Because customer success management is fairly new on the scene, there aren't so many qualifications around, but they, are, they have now started to emerge. And of course, ours is one of the first, and I would say is the best, the most comprehensive one that there is available. So certification in every industry, in every profession, you're not going to get a job as an accountant or an airline pilot unless you've got the right certification. And that's going to happen in our profession as, as we mature. We're ahead of the game with providing it, but actually only just. And now I am talking to hiring managers and recruiters. I am talking to customer success leaders, and they are asking for it, and they are understanding the value of it when they are looking at who to recruit, for example. So our program, the Certified CSM program, this has four levels of certification. You get a certificate at each level, you get a badge at each level. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. The value to the company, the person who employs the CCSMB, is that it provides a way of benchmarking everybody so that there is a, a minimum standard. Everybody meets that standard. So we know, we can be confident that everybody meets this minimum requirement. It adds value to our proposal to our customer 
because we can say to the customers, when you buy our product, you don't just get any old help. You get proper help from properly trained, qualified and certified people. And that is externally certified by a third party certification program, an industry certification. It even could add a unique uh, sales proposition, a USP to the proposal because no one else is offering that. So you can get more sales from doing it. And it provides the basis for being externally ratified for approval with, with things like the BSI or OSI standards. So you've got to have a proven process of doing things. You've got to do it the right way or you don't get the kite mark to say, yes, your company meets these minimum standards. And again, for, particularly for organizations who sell, to example, for, to the government, they might have to have those standards in place. So it helps them for those reasons. And of course, it helps them to measure and evaluate and compare between the CSMs and, and with the overall function. Similar concept for the team leader, the person who manages the customer success team can standardize the approach and the methodology so that everybody's doing it the same way, which simplifies the training and the requirements for things like uh, coaching and mentoring makes it much easier to bring new recruits on board and to add them to the team and get them trained up because this is how we do it around here one set of resources one set of requirements one set of training etc and again we can measure and report on on individuals now well, what about ourselves as csms what about you what do you get out of this well it proves to yourself I mean, you might be confident already that you know customer success management, but maybe you don't know all of it. And I would suggest, well, none of us do, right? I mean, I'm not saying I know all of it, but I tell you what, as we go through different roles as customer success managers in different companies, those different roles will tend to have more of a focus or an emphasis on certain parts of customer success and less or even no emphasis on other parts. So what about those other parts? How are you going to plug those gaps? Well, if you if you take a broad certification, it proves your competence across all of customer success management best practice. So it brings you up in those areas and proves to yourself that you've, re you've reached the level one, two, three or four that you think you have. And of course, it provides evidence to the outside world so that if you do decide you want to move to the next level up and progress your career either internally or maybe um, to uh, uh, go out and find a, a job at another company, well, then you've got the evidence uh, to back up what you're saying in terms of your uh, abilities, your expertise. And it's an objective third party certification, not just you saying it. Or, you know, you having a reference from a friend or a friendly colleague. And this gives you your career progression capability. So there's lots of value in it. So, OK, that's generally for, uh, for certification. Why CCSMP particularly? Well, it's based on the practical CSM framework, which I wrote a couple of years ago in 2018 and was published, in fact, in my book, which was published last year uh, by Taylor and Francis, which is an academic publisher on Amazon. Uh, and indeed, any other place you want to go and get a book, Barnes & Noble, wherever you want to go, uh, you can get hold of that book. We sell it ourselves on our website. And, 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 it, and it details the uh, entire seven phases of a typical customer success engagement, from initial preparation through to gaining commitment from the customer, how we're going to work together and what we're going to do, to helping them with onboarding, understanding what they bought, why they bought it, what the implications of purchasing it are and what, what's ahead of them to actually then dealing with what's ahead of them, planning for adoption, planning to get to understand which users are going to be impacted, in what ways they're going to be impacted, what we're going to do about it, what we need to communicate to them, what we're going to train them on, what we're going to support them with, putting it all into a plan, maybe a phased plan of implementation over a period of time, and then having planned it to actually implement that through good project management best practices, making sure that we actually do the things that need to be done in the right order to the right standard so that we get the right result in the right time frame to the right amount of money. And then having got them adopted so that they are now able to use our product successfully is working with them over the months, the years, even the decades to measure and prove the return on investment, to show the value and to change things where necessary because customers need to change all the time. So their strategy changes, their customers' needs changes, the law changes, um, financial climate changes, all sorts of things happen. New technology comes out, our technology changes. So that value realization phase, very, very important. And then finally, engagement evaluation is continual improvement. What did we learn and how can we improve next time? 
How can we template what was good? How can we improve on what was bad? So all of that, that is the foundation of the Certified CSM Professional Program, is a thoroughly revised and thought through best practice framework for customer success management. So it simplifies, it standardizes, it ensures we're using best practices, it maximizes our productivity. And why reinvent the wheel when it's out there already? And it's not just me saying it, incidentally, okay? I mean, I would say I authored it. But, you know, there's lots of people out there who will authenticate this and validate that this is a, a, a highly accomplished framework, a good way of working in customer success. So my friend Jason here or Teresa bridging the gap between the theory of customer success and the reality of actually doing it. It's very practical in its nature. That's why I called it the practical CSM framework. And here with, with Anne-Marie, it's comprehensive. Okay, the, it, It's thorough. It includes everything you need. There aren't any gaps in it. And we provide four certification levels, as you know. So that means that you can immediately start to get value back. You don't have to wait to the end. You get value at level one. You get more value at level two, yet more at level three until you reach the ultimate level four. So what are you going to learn? Well, actually, there's lots to, to, to be learned in the CCSMP program. And if you you know, if you've been to our website, you've probably seen all the testimonies from people who have been through the program and what they say about it. But you're going to learn what customer success is. You're going to learn why it's important. You're going to learn the value that it provides both to your own company and to your company's customers. You're going to uh, understand how businesses work and, and how important that is as a CSM when you're talking to business decision makers. You're going to understand the knowledge and the skills you need as a CSM, uh, how, how uh, the benefits of a framework, which we've been talking about right now, how to prepare for an engagement, how to meet stakeholders, how to gain commitment to work with them, how the consultative techniques you need to, to ask the right questions, to get the information you need out of those stakeholders, the ability to manage relationships and build high quality trust relationships with, with credibility and rapport, the uh, process of onboarding, how that, how that occurs and what needs to be done at those stages, uh, how to un help the customer to understand what needs to be done when it comes to adoption and how to create a multi-phase adoption plan in all its detail, which means you've got to understand change management and helping the customer to manage that change, which means you've got to understand project management and helping the customer to measure and report on the value, as we talked about, so important, keeping things on track, making sure that they don't go backwards and that they continue to go forwards and that they are happy in, in the success and that they are reporting it to the right people in the business in order to maximize the renewal opportunities and the expand opportunities within that customer organization and to gain customer advocacy in, and case studies in order to get more customers as well and to measure and report back to all of this internally within your organization and much, much more. So that is, you know, at a very high level, the, the types of things that you learn on the program. How do you learn it? Well, it's, it's very comprehensive. Let me actually go to it and show you it rather than talk further to you. So I'm sure you'd rather see it than listen to me. So let me just launch that. Uh, there we go. So I've just, I'm just on the, the launch page here for the Practical CSM Academy. And I'm going to log in, first of all, as uh, a fairly um, sort of starter user here who's just uh, maybe begun. And I'm logging in here and I immediately get some help. I've got videos I can watch that help me explain how to use the academy. But in fact, if I go to the uh, dashboard, what I immediately see is my progress. And there are 10 modules, 10 training modules. And this particular user has just started. So they've just completed the first module and they've unlocked it. And you win the badge for that. So it's, we've got some gamification in there to keep you interested and keep you going. And you can publish this on social media to show your progress through here. And of course, your managers can also see the progress. OK, so this person has just started. Now, let me log out and I will log in as somebody who's completed it so that you can uh, see the difference. All right. So that was my uh, one of my demo users that I use, which was a, a basic person there. If I now go for this particular demo user. There we go. So I'm just going to log in here. There we are. Same thing, obviously, from the home page. But if I go to the dashboard, what we'll see now is that because this user has been using the system for a while, 
they've gone through the process. They've they've gone through all 10 training modules and they've gone through all four certification levels. And here they are at the top of the pyramid now at level four. OK, so that's what you're seeing there. And what's contained within this are effectively four really cool areas of, of training. So the first area is specifically around the certification. I'm going to click on certification and I'm going to show you how this works. So here are my levels one, two, three, and four, and, and, and these represent the modules. So the first two training modules out of those 10 are in level one. The next three appear in level two. The next five appear in level three, and then you've done all the training. Level four certification is purely a, a final exam. In fact, it's two final exams, one that tests your knowledge, one that tests your application of that knowledge in real world scenarios. So if we go back to one of the other levels, and let me pick, for example, the first module, which is customer success fundamentals, as you would expect for the first module. Here it is. And I immediately get here the ability to watch a video. And you won't hear the the um, you won't hear it, but I'm going to click on play and then it'll just um just play in the background uh, on here. So there's a little bit of music going on right at this moment. Uh, to intro and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click into it. You can see like that he's got a big big beard, doesn't he? That guy there. Um a little bit of an intro about this particular module. Let me pause that. And if I scroll down, I can access a syllabus which tells me for this module what am I going to learn? Here is all the, the different things I'm going to learn in this module. I can access the training manual. And it'll ask me to download that, which I, I won't download it, but you can see it's asking me to download that and also my workbook. And it will launch my workbook PDF for me. So here's my uh, workbook PDF just being launched in there. Just taking a moment to launch that again. I'll just for brevity rather than let it download. I'm just going to close on that and an exercise as well. So I get a, 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 a detailed case study based exercise for every one of my mod for every one of my modules but the main part so those are the extras the main part here are the lessons so if i pick on a lesson let's go for example for this one uh lesson 1.3 it launches that lesson and then i can play that lesson here and of course i can maximize the window so i can see the whole thing i can play at a different speed if i wish to and again, I'm just going to click inside it so a couple of places so you can see how it works. So here we are. We're learning about retention rates or churn. And I'm going to move forwards a little bit more. So we're learning about the uh, renew revenue levels and renew renewal value here and working through an, an example and so on and so forth. OK, so I click into another place here. So renewal rates and churns and so on and so forth. So you can go through all of these. And then at the end, once you've completed them all, you take the test. I'll show you a test. So it's asking me if I want to complete the test. I'm going to click on OK. And then I can start my test. And then you, hopefully you can see that. Here's my first of 15 questions. Which of the following is not one of the 14 tenets of customer success? Choose two answers. So I can select a couple of answers and uh, move on to uh, the next question. So again, I'm not going to go through the whole of that, but hopefully that will sort of give you an idea here show you uh, how you move through the certification side of things. Nicely organized, 10 modules, step by step, couldn't be easier. But that's not all of the experience. There's much more to it. So there's an entire community to play with here. So if we go to the community side of things, so you can go in here, lots of different forums. You can ask questions and also answer other students' questions for them. Um, there is a content finder, which I'll show you, which gives you the ability not just to be proactive about certification, but to be reactive about anything that you need to know right now. So let's say you need to understand KPIs right now because you've been asked to, to work on KPIs. So you can scroll through this entire list of all of the training content 
and you can see it's a very comprehensive list of training content, lots of different formats, videos and articles and um, interviews and podcasts and uh, tools to download and templates to use. So I, I'm at the P's now, so you can see I'm getting through it, but I'm not even all the way through it there. Of course, you can also just search by uh, key keyword terms. You can search by a category. So for example, I can search for things relating to value realization and it will just give me a shorter list. I can search for just, for example, just videos. So that's a search for videos within value realization. And I've got my list here. And also I can click on one of these and it'll launch it in a separate window, which you can see here in a separate tab. And I can play that. And then when I finished with that one, I can close it again and I'm back to my list. Okay, and I can reset the list to everything and just do a keyword search. So I think I said KPIs, didn't I? So let's say I'm interested in KPI. So I'm going to use the search term KPI. Now if I submit that, and then I've got, there we go. So I've got some KPI videos in this instance. I haven't reset, have I? Maybe all formats, and I'll get, I get a few extra bits and pieces as well, for example. There we go. So that's Content Finder. And then Live Learning. So as well as self-study, which you do in your own time, bite-sized chunks, sort of five, 10 minute chunks of video each time. So you can pop in, you can watch something, you can learn a little bit and then pop out again. And when you've got some more time, do a bit more. Uh, also, you can come to a calendar of actual events. So for example, uh, we've got our overview of the CCSMP program that we're doing right now. Uh, we've got customer success strategy. We've got uh, the details on the framework. We've got the fundamentals of customer success management. And you can book onto any or all of these. And they're free if you are a full member. We charge for these if you're not. So just, just booking on one month's worth of these gets you your money back from the offer that we're going to provide you. OK, just so you're aware, just just one month of just the live learning. Forget about four levels of certification across 10 modules and, you know, two to three hundred. Yeah, roughly three hundred now pieces of, of learning content in the content finder. Just one month alone of attending these live learning sessions and you get your money back, your money's worth. Plus, we've got a Successopedia, uh, which um, is enables you to um, check on the terminology within customer success management. So. Here's my list here of terminology, and I can, of course, pick some things. So what is the expand sales motion? Uh, what is the uh, ex ex uh, what, uh, features or functions? Uh, what's the engagement model? What's the engagement life cycle? So whatever I want to find here. And very powerful, you can ask us a question. So we've got a panel of experts, myself included, and if you can't find the answer, you can ask us. All right? and can we guarantee we know everything? Of course not, but we will do our best to find the answer. So you can see just how easy it is to use and to work around. And by the way, this works on mobile devices just as equally well as it works on laptops or desktop computers. So if you've got um, an iPad or you've got a smartphone, that's fine. You can learn lying in bed or whatever you want to do you know, using your smartphone, you can learn in that environment. All right. And there we have it. So that's that's the tool that, that I wanted to show you. And let me just um, sort of part that back up in my other window, get rid of it for a moment. And let's just go back to our uh, slides here. And I just want to finish by explaining our special offer. So now you've gone through and you've seen what it's all about. And hopefully you're you know, excited about what it, this can offer you in terms of the ability to raise your standard, whatever level you're at now, whether you're a complete beginner to customer success or not even in your first customer success role, or even whether you've been two, three, four, five years in a role, to be honest, even 10, 15 years in, in roles and you're senior, you will get lots of value out of this. Okay, so I've got a question coming in from somebody asking, how long does it take to get through a module? And uh, it's a good question. It does vary from person to person. So some people work uh, more quickly through it than others. And that's due partially perhaps to their learning style. So some people are very quick to learn. 
uh, others take their time and they're they're far more thorough in their approach and they they'll download and read the the workbook first before they even go to the videos and when they go to the videos they're going to stop the videos and make notes etc others will just go straight to the videos and watch them at one and a half speed uh, and, and get to the to the uh, test as quickly as they can so so it does depend on your sort of style of learning it also does depend uh, a, a little bit on your use of english so if english is a second language uh, for you you may be a little bit slower because you may at some stage have to translate the odd word from uh, english into your own native language and so it might take you a little bit longer for that reason and also uh, how much you know already right so if you're already two three four years into your customer success uh, career well you might move more quickly through some of the more basic information than somebody who is brand new to it and might want to take more time and go through it two or three times so what's the end result of all of that? Well, my answer would be uh, that um, uh, we have seen people take as, as short a period as a couple of hours to do a module. And we've seen people take as long as 40 hours to do a module. Um, and I would say that for most people, it comes to around four to six hours per module to, to complete the module. So, you know, a, a day with long breaks in. Uh, let's say okay uh, to complete a module and there's 10 there's 10 modules in there plus obviously that's the certification there's all that other content as well in there the proactive and the reactive content as well so that was uh, a question thank you for that one on uh on how long does it take um so any other questions there's one coming in on the question on how do you um what, what do you actually get to prove that you've been certified? So these certificates that you're seeing here, uh, each one, I don't know if you can see this, but each one has a unique member ID. So your membership ID follows you through your career, and that remains the same for you for all certificates that we release for you, and it's unique to you. So that's your membership ID. And then each individual certificate also has a certificate ID. So when we publish these, when you are awarded the certificate, it, it, we email you it and it comes as a PDF and it's got the, the date that you were awarded it and my signature on the level. So, for example, levels one, two, three and four, you can see here so that they know you can show exactly what level you've attained and the unique IDs so that if somebody did want to check, then they could check with us, then we can prove that that is correct. And that was a certificate for, issued by us correctly uh, through uh, the academy. So those are the certificates. And by the way, you know, we send it out to you automatically, but you can, in fact, download it by logging in and, and, and downloading it from the uh, dashboard at any stage that you want as well. OK, good. Thank you for that question. Any other questions that anybody's got? Feel free if you want to do that. And again, just looking down what we've got here. So there's a question about um, teams. Is can uh, Do we offer this for teams? Yes, we do. Um, so if you've got an entire team that you want to take through this program, we can do that. And um, the advantage of doing that, of course, is that you can work together as a team. So you can group your team um, members up into groups of two or three or four or five as a cohort and they can work together through that which is quite cool uh, you can provide a little bit of friendly competition uh you can do rewards on an individual or team basis for attaining the different levels um and uh, provide coaching through that and for the team leader there is actually a separate bit of the website which i didn't show you because we're just focusing on the individual stuff today but there is actually a team leader page where you can see the progress of everybody in your team and what, what which um certifications they've they've reached and uh, how many hours they've logged in and all sorts of things like that as well so there's a whole bunch of of stuff around that 